papers. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Welcome back from the break. Alright, so now we're going to be finishing it off with Alchemist Simulator. <laughs> Magical Goblin mode activated. Boop. Profile selection. Oh. I don't know what that means. Settings. Okay. New game! Is that a mole? <laughs> Go to the mailbox on the door and accept your first quest. Finally, you are here. Didn't your grandpa write to you that this is an urgent matter? Ugh, youngsters these days. Always getting on my nerves. What do you mean he didn't give you any specifics? He should have. Anyways, you need to start settling in. I will help you at first, but after that, you're on your own, dearie. Just do exactly as I say, and hopefully this whole place will not go up in flames. <laughs> At least not in the first week. Okay, now to business. While your grandpa's away, you'll be working here and hopefully learn a thing or two about being a true alchemist and rodent. That is my job, you see, to teach youngins and whippersnappers like you the ropes of, uh, of spells and alchemy and things. Go to the mailbox on the door and get your first contract. Be careful not to fall for any curses, my dear. Show quest list E. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Great. Dear grandson, I am terribly sorry that I couldn't meet you in person. But an adventurer... But an adventurer of a lifetime knocked on my door and I couldn't let it slip through my fingers. I had to leave for London most hastily couldn't make the necessary preparations regarding my lab, so you will have to work there for a while till I get back. I know you haven't yet finished your training, but I pulled some strings and I got you your license. You don't become a Grand Master Alchemist without gaining some connections. <laughs> Please listen to my assistant. She will bring you up to speed. She may have a grumpy character, but her skills will prove to be invaluable in your work. Your first contract will actually be to finish the one I accepted yesterday, but didn't have time to finish. It is very simple. You just need to make a healing potion and hand it to my assistant. She usually takes care of all the deliveries. Remember, the lab needs to be working and bringing in a profit, or we both may lose our licenses. Oh, and I love you. P.S. There's a little condition on which you've got your license. You, may, uh, you will need to prove to my friend that you are a capable alchemist, but he will help you to learn the recipes that you don't know yet. From time to time, you will receive contracts from him with instructions on how a specific potion can be crafted. Just complete them and everything should be fine. Love, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, Sir Inliara. In Liara. In Liar. In. In what the pronunciation of the name is that? Okay. <laughs> signed it. Hi, hi, welcome. Good. Looks like you were able to follow simple instructions. I was expecting worse of you. Bitch. Given your limited mental capacity, whenever you get a new contract, make a note with the list of required potions and their aspects. What do you mean to make a note where? Get yourself a notebook if you are that stupid or too like me. Yes, Granny. Press E to cancel the active quest. Press Q to go to quest information. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Careful not to turn into a frog. I'm already green. I'm already there. Okay. Note that some quests may have a bonus in store for you if you complete them quickly enough. You should keep track of the number of bonus days remaining in your notes that we've now so masterfully learned to use. <laughs> Next order of business, you need to learn to use the almanac. Not the farmer's almanac, the alchemist's almanac, though similar, vastly different. How could you have not ever worked with an almanac before? What were you doing in that academy of yours? Sleeping under books instead of reading them? 
budget cuts. Mm, I see. Well, good for you. Because here we have one of those authentic almanacs with all the bells and whistles. It's over here in the library. Come and take a look. Size? Why in the heck is her tail so long? Cauldron or the face? Oh, is it this one? Read Almanac. <laughs> I knew that. Almanac is a very powerful magical tool. Luckily, your grandpa had time to reset it before leaving. So now it has integrated with your aura and will display information directly based on your progress and knowledge. Let's go over different sections of the almanac, shall we? The first one is your fame level. Whenever you are filling contracts, you will become more and more famous. This will allow you to take on more high-end contracts. and may even allow us to use some of the equipment that had to be disabled when you moved in. <laughs> what do you mean, what for? So that you don't burn down the building. And that there is some serious hard work. Hardware. <laughs> As a friend of mine used to say, you are not prepared. Now, go to the next section. Oh. It is just as a cheat sheet to remind you how the aspects and progress of uh, processing works. Oh, does that mean pl healing plague, spider death, mint sprouts, love, something? Cold ice cubes, cold hands, broken sword, fire, smelting fire, broken sword, wind, spit glove, mess, sword, apple, spikes, blindfold, no seeing, just disaster, disappears, sparkling clean, sun, diamond, like, okay. You should know that already. At least I hope you do. But still, let's go over it one more time. On the left, you can see the aspects. As you know, every alchem alchemical... Alchemical... <laughs> ingredient contains them. These aspects belong to one of the four branches. Purity, corruption, order, chaos, heat, cold, and life, death. Each branch consists of two extremes, purity, corruption, has purity on one side, and corruption on the other, for example. Each ingredient can contain one or more aspects from different branches. By using various workbenches, you will be manipulating the state of those branches. We will get into more details about how it works when we get to the workbenches. You will also have a larger version of this cheat sheet above the working table. On the right side, you can see a simple scheme to remind you of the order in which you can use different processing types through their respective workbenches. For example, you can cut an ingredient and then grind it in the mortar, but not vice versa. You can polish, then mortar. You can meat, then flay. Juice to clean, juice to fish, you can fish, you can, you can juice your fish here, child, yes. <laughs> can fish. Now, or you know, 
the other tab thing. <clears throat> Here you will be able to upgrade your equipment for the gold that you make while fulfilling contracts. Note that some upgrades will only unlock on a certain level of fame. So you must get famous, child. That is your goal. You must become the one and only goblin alchemist out there. Higher tier workbenches will allow you to perform more complicated operations. For example, the knife will stay sharp for longer and mortar will be more effective at strengthening the aspects. Okay. Right. Open the final almanac section ingredients. You got it! Here you will see a list of all the recipes that you have discovered and their required aspects. As you learn new recipes, they will also be shown here, so worry not if you forget a thing or two, child. Yes, yes, magic is cool, I know. <laughs> healing! This is a precious healing potion used to cure wounds by many a brave warrior, usually to cause other brave warriors to also drink one. Wait, what? This is a precious healing potion used to cure wounds by many a brave warrior, usually to cause other brave warriors to also drink one. Needless to say, it's always out of stock. Okay, heat resistance. Makes the one who consumed the potion very resistant to the heat. Useful for traveling in the deserts for blacksmiths, and an orthodox use of this potion is to apply it to the skin as an anti-tanning cream. Oh, neat. Cold resistance makes the one who consumed the potion very resistant to the cold, useful during harsh northern winters, and as a protection against an ice element. Surprisingly tasty. Huh. Oh, interesting. We have ingredients. This section works just like the recipes, and it seems that you already know all the ingredients. At least you learned something in that academy of yours. Oh, harpy's feather, unstoppable life. Uh, harpies often trade their feathers with humans. Oftentimes, feathers are used as exotic decorations by the nobles, but they are also very valuable for the alchemists. Unstoppable life. Unstoppable life, or lily, for those that could not recognize this ingredient for what it really is. Rare and special plant that can be used even in its raw form to cure serious wounds. Now, come here and let's review the process of ordering the required ingredients. I will walk you through this first contract, but it is a one-time deal. Don't expect that much help in the future. Shit. You will need carambola and coal. Huh. Carambola and coal. Ah, carambola. This yellow exotic fruit can be cut into wonderful stars. Alchemists are not sure if this star-shaped ingredient is better than others when brewing potions, but it is very popular and seemingly delicious because it's star fruit. Polar fresh coal. If you have been a naughty child, this is your Christmas present. But if you are an alchemist, it is a valuable ingredient. Pufferfish, cocoon, healing herb, ginger root, parsley, blue cap, vines. That's a tentacle. That is straight up a cut tentacle. Red berry. Uh. Uh. So. I I need this. Talk to the rat to buy one coal. And oh, never mind. Maybe don't. Hello, rat. I just found out where you are, Granny. One coal, one star fruit. Oh, almost forgot. You can sell extra potions that you won't need for any particular contract here for extra cash. The potion on the bottom of the ledger is a so-called potion of the day. Depending on the demand among our clients, some potions can be sold for even more. But they change each day, each day, so stay on your toes. There's one more important thing to know. Your grandfather is quite an inventor, and he has a number of patents which bring in a certain amount of gold every day. This is not much, but it can help in your case. 
but it can help in case you have a streak of bad luck. Once you place your order, they will magically appear in the delivery box near the entrance. Just interact with it and all the deliveries will be magically sorted in the storage. Great. I don't like the sound of the rat mix. Start delivering the ingredients. Ingredients are being delivered. Looks impressive, I know. Told you we got all the bells and whistles here. But that stuff costs money, you know, so keep moving and start working on that contract now. First, you need to get rid of unwanted aspects from the carambola. You can cut the whole aspect chain using the cutting planks. Use it to cut out the order chaos chain. You can always see the aspect chains pictured above the table. <laughs> what, Granny? Granny rat, huh? Where the fuck is the cutting board? Shelf slot, cobwebs. Oh, cutting planks. <laughs> Granny, why can't you just call it a cutting board? Old mortar. Okay, carambola on the cutting thing. Uh, activate button, purity, order chaos, chain removal? That, like that? Put raw carambola. Okay. Uh, dry cut carambola. One time to leave it with just the clarity aspect. What? Good job. Now you have a carambola with only two aspects, clarity and light. Now you need to get rid of the second unwanted aspect. Oh, I have an idea. Drying process will destroy the weakest aspects. Dry carambola once to destroy the clarity aspect. Thank you for my cut star fruit. Disposable ingredient. Ah, oh, put an activate dryer. Dryer is working. We'll finish drying in a while. Fantastic. Now what? Not bad. Now you have an ingredient with just clarity on it. You need more potent versions of the aspect that is left. Try grinding it into dust with the mortar. Okay. I thought you meant like it was gonna take a while, a while, but all right. We now have dried fruit. Fantastic. Put in mortar. Oh, it just does it for me. Yay! That candle is floating. I also thought that was like a melting hand. <laughs> now take this ground, ground carambola and put it in the cauldron. Do I have to? As you know, in order to make a potion with a set of aspects, all you need to do is process those ingredients in a matter that will leave only required aspects on them. Put all those ingredients in the cauldron and activate it. I bet in the academy you had to read mantras and dance around while the potion was brewing, but your grandpa's not that cheap. So we got ourselves a neat new cauldron <laughs> Cauldronator 3000, as you see. So the process is much simpler. Yes. Yes, very nice, very, very nice. So nice, Cauldronator 3000, cause your grandpa can't dance around like a youngin anymore. Ding, we have passed the hardest part. Now, onto the cold. We don't need the fire aspect, cut it out. Okay, sure. Cut out the hot. Now amplify the potency of the cut coal by grinding it in the mortar. I guess correctly. Yoink! Oh, you can see like the health bar of the cutting plank. Cutting bl blanks? No, planks. <laughs> My bad. Ah, the mortar is working. I sure hope it does. Yoink! Into the cauldron it goes. Uh, 
Oh, activate cauldron E. Now wait for the potion brewing to finish. Okay. It's like such an odd area for me to like put chat. <laughs> Beginner's luck, make your first potion. Wee you! Told you the cauldron eggs are 3,000 or something. Now take that potion and bring it to me. I will handle delivery and everything else. Okay, here you go. You can taste test it, I guess. Start trading, try to sell potion. Try to submit potion for quest, right mouse button. Looks like they did teach you something in that academy. Ah, and so it begins is the achievement I just got. You've managed to complete the first contract all on your own. Good work. Well, this was a long day and we managed to do quite a lot. You must be very tired. What do you mean you're not tired at all? You need to be more careful. Being an alchemist is a very demanding profession. If you stay up too long, you can lose consciousness. If that happens, the house will magically move you to bed, so nothing critical will happen. Your grandpa was also a workaholic, so we had to think of some way to lessen the number of head bumps he had. <laughs> Looking at you, I can see we were right to do so. Okay, I've had enough of aspiring alchemists for one day. Go upstairs and I don't want to see you till the next morning, do you hear? Keep up the good work and you might just make it. Damn. The rat kind of rude. And the rat also didn't tell me where the stairs were. Man, my grandpa's place is like falling apart. <gasps> Whoa, what a pretty clock. Like, system thing. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Good morning, I've been thinking, and I believe you're ready to start working on your own today. Well, It would be more precise to say that I am too exhausted from holding your hand from the yesterday's contract, and at this rate, my fear of you burning down the house is lower than my disdain to explain every, every little detail of being an alchemist. So congratulations, and if you need me, I'll be in the library preparing fire extinguishers. What a bitch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think my grandpa's rat likes me very much. Okay, woo. Show quest list. Learn to make cure disease potion, learn to make jump potion, learn to make a no sleep potion. Some of my less mentally advanced students think they can use the no sleep potion to pull so-called all-nighters to prepare for my exam. Total nonsense, I say. Unless you approach your education systematically, you will not achieve success. Professor Snail. Sure. Oh. Okay. Learn to make a sleep potion. Uh, read almanac. Mm. Maybe the beginning? No, just kidding. Maybe like the index? Okay, so we need this symbol and this symbol, I guess. Fantastic. Healing, heat resistance, cold resistance. Oh. I don't have no sleep potion. Ugh, thank you for the cheer. Okay, so it maybe parsley and try to figure out what has this little bitty symbol on it. Ah, oh, fish. Is it really just the fish? Yeah, it's just the fish. Odd. Okay, so I guess we need a polar fish and parsley. Or, an, or a healing herb. Or carambola. Great. I I don't know. Hi. Uh. 
I'm not feeling very confident about this, I can tell you that much. Seems like I could take whichever one I wanted. Or so I thought. Parsley? Hi, hi! Uh, yeah. Put the ingredients away, please. Boy, oh boy, I sure hope I don't mess this up. Okay, I guess we'll start with parsley. So if I put it here and I... Ah, okay, so it is like life death for this one. So activate life death. Cool. Pick that up. Put it in the mortar. Grab our fish. Uh, put it on the board. We need diamond. So clarity. Or no, 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 no. We're, we're the the plant is for clarity. We need the weird thing. The motion. So we need to get rid of the cold. Yeah! Look at that! I'm so good at this! Oh. Bleh. Uh, shit. Um. Oh no, I can't put it down. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to dry the fish? Okay, put this in our cauldron. Sure hope I was supposed to dry that fish. <laughs> okay, I guess it worked. I have no idea. Mortar? Great. I guess we're gonna mortar our dried fish. Oof. Gross. Womp. Uh, activate cauldron. E. It's brewing. Any other quests? Or am I just only allowed to take one? Oh. Um. Great. I guess that wasn't it. Yeah, fish flavored Kool Aid. I thought that was it. Is it supposed to be Carambola and Polar Fish? Because that also. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, this one also has that. I mean, I guess it would make sense, because I haven't used parsley yet. Maybe I didn't wait for the fish to dry all the way. Okay, uh, let me just buy another fish. I feel like parsley would be better tasting than, oh, you know, the heckin' um, Star fruit in the fish, but what do I know? Also, there's like mouse holes everywhere, and they have like smoke coming out of them, like they're teleporters. Okay, try this again. Fish. Put you here. Get rid of the hot and cold aspects. Pick up fish. Dry fish. Pick up plant, put plant on planks, get rid of, yes, the life death. Still not very confident, but we're trying. That's what counts. Yoink. Put that in the mortar. I mean, it didn't say it was done. Wait, what? Uh, 
Okay, I think I found out why it messed up. It gave me like the light thing, not... <sighs> Am I like dumb? I could have sworn. Yeah, no, it does have the diamond there, but it doesn't stay after you process it. It actually becomes something else. So we are supposed to use the stupid fruit. Great. Freaking rat. Okay, put that stuff away. I guess I just have to throw this away. I'm not allowed to save it, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why, but okay. I still don't know if that's done yet. Okay. Uh. So get rid of order and chaos mayhaps yeah let me dry it i mean it didn't say it dried at all so i guess we just throw it in there my shop is where mice hang out for this weekend <laughs> <laughs> no nah, she just lives here That might be done. Ah, okay. Fish. Maybe I'm supposed to put it in the cauldron the right way as well. So like I put the fish in first and then we do this one. Well, sharpen the knife, I guess, while we're waiting on this. Cause like now it has the symbol first. Okay, that's not what I wanted either. Was I just supposed to dry it? I wasn't supposed to grind it up? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the symbols still aren't right. There's not a way to like redo that, so shit. Fucking, I'm going broke already. My grandfather is going to be so disappointed in me, and this rat is too. Yeah, it exploded. That wasn't right. I didn't think this one would be very hard. Oh my god! Is that your son? Do you have slave labor here with your other rats? Like rat children or like rat friends? Um... Okay, maybe, maybe, oh, I have to do it myself. I thought it was just doing it. Great. It, maybe it's just one of my grandpa's other familiars or something. I don't know. I clearly don't live or work or belong here. Oh, I'm so tired. Fall asleep from exhaustion. You stupid game. What's that sound? Uh, okay. Cool, my knife is sparkling again. What the hell was I doing? I guess fruit, you. Get rid of order chaos dry potion thing. Yes. Ugh, I'm gonna get no sleep just trying to do this stupid potion for no sleep. Get rid of a hot cold. Hella. <laughs> okay. Mortar. You. Okay, now it's the diamond. Womp. Should not have taken me as long. But what the fuck? Why is it suddenly this? Oh my god. It was fine yesterday. I didn't realize things were gonna fucking change. 
I don't have any more money for other potions. Hot and cold, please. Okay. E. Oh, no, I don't want to cancel. I was trying to pick a new quest. Cauldron is brewing. That better have worked. <sighs> no sleep potion. Cool. Submit potion for whatever. Oh my god, even his remote lessons are boring as hell. Okay, thank you. Show quest list. Learn to make cure disease. Learn to make jump, strength. Yeah, let me get cure disease. Pretty simple potion. It cures sickness and poisons. Nothing very exciting, but it pays the bills for those who are not educated enough to teach you in the academy. It should prove useful to you. Professor Snail. Cure disease. Okay, great. Let's hope this one's a cheap potion. Read Almanac. Um, <laughs> do I just get two pieces of coal? Okay. Huh. Interesting. So I could get two pieces of coal. Maybe. I don't know if it would allow that. Or if I'm supposed to, like, eat. Maybe it's healing herb and coal, or, like, healing herb and ginger root for cure disease. I don't know if it really matters what ingredients I use, so long as I come to the same symbolism in the end. Funny how that works. I guess what's cheap and easy, yeah? I'm looking at you, coal. 250, 240, 350, 90, 80, 160, 160, cool. ginger root, healing herb. Thank you for using my shop. Yeah, thanks. Everything is too expensive, but sure. just be to remove the heat and cold and then we should get yep I don't know if I can just go in here oh dope okay so this one seems like get rid of ooh um Yeah, purity, corruption. I guess. Go, little succulent thing, go! Mm. Maybe dry it? Then that'll give us the right thing? Like, the right symbol? M maybe? Yes! Wow, it didn't take me, like, a bajillion times to do that potion. <laughs> We did that one lickety split. All right. Tap, tap, delicious. Oh, it's green. I mean, I guess it would be green, but like, it's like neon bright green. Submit potion. I've heard an interesting thing about this potion. It appears that in very rare cases, it can dramatically improve one's musical skills. Thanks for the weird rat tip, like rat fun fact. I've always wanted to play contrabass. Maybe I should give it a try. What is contrabass? Hold on. Contrabass? What is that? It refers to several musical instruments of very low pitch, generally one octave below bass 
registered musical instruments. So like a double bass and a contrabass are the same thing. Uh, so a cello is that kind of instrument? No, it's not. I, I don't know. That's really weird, but okay, thank you for the rat tip fact thing. No, the other side effects are not worth it. What are the other side effects? Okay, quest list. Jump potion. Pay attention here, student. Jump potion can be very dangerous. While it does allow to jump higher, it does not change the falling damage. So many fools have died because of this, not that I mind. The world is a better place without them, but many of those fools were clients in very good standing. Man, Professor Snail kinda sucks, though. So... Okay, this is fun, now that like, we're getting the hang of it. Uh, we could do fish and harpy feather. Probably fish and harpy feather. Harpy feather, definitely. I think fish is the only one that has that symbol. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I have enough money for this, but... Fish. Oh, shit. Um... I guess sell the ginger root? Buy the harpy feather? Okay, you can't just, like, stock up on ingredients, I guess. Whoa. I like how the ingredients kind of fly away. That's cool. Okay. Huh. Well, the fish is going to be the easiest, because it's... Put you here. Get rid of the hot and cold. Throw it in the cauldron. Yep. Schnailed it. Cauldron with you. I'm unsure. Probably hot and cold. But... I don't know how I'm supposed to keep Swift on there and get rid of the other stuff. But hot and cold, I guess? Great. I don't think I can dry Harpy Feather. Okay. So. What happens if I mortar it after that then? need to try this one again. I don't think. Yeah, I can't just like put it down. Darkness did not go away. I, I guess I'm supposed to throw this one away because it's not gonna work. It doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna pass out soon anyways. Expose my ingredient, buy another harpy feather, if I can make it in time, I guess. Yeah, yeah, start trading. Feather, thanks. Um, E? Great. So I can't dry them? So like, okay, purity corruption, I guess. And then I really need to sharpen knife. Your knife became dull if you want to continue using it, you have to sharpen it with the knife wheel. Thank you, I'm aware. Eee, <laughs> little rat go. 
A little hop, skip, and a jump, and there he goes. I wonder if I can cut it again? It doesn't seem like it, but maybe? Oh, you have to like stand here and sharpen the knife. Oh wait, do you? No, you just have to, uh. Year of the wise rat, bruh. Okay. Great. I... Okay, stop sharpening. Where'd the feather go? Oh, do my ingredients just like disappear if I don't finish what I'm doing? That seems unfair, but okay, that's fine. I love wasting money. I, wow, I can't continue now. I don't have like anything. Like, I'm broke because I suck at the game. That is very unforgiving of you, unless I'm just like stupidly blind and miss it. Shelf slot, shelf slot. Shelf, 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 shelf. <sighs> okay. Trash can. Cool. Now what, Granny? Do I just like wait for the thing to fail? Like. Am I just supposed to give up this quest? Because, like, even if I do, I still don't have the money to get anything else. If it wasn't the harpy feather, what was it supposed to be? Because I'm pretty sure the harpy's feather is the only one that has that symbol that I need. I'm a terrible alchemist, but yes, that is, that is fact. Okay. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough money to like, tomorrow try again. And if it would even be right. Uh, I can't say I was expecting that to happen. Um. There's shelves here too. That's cool. I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I guess a little disappointed is an understatement. Ooh. Hi. How are you, little dude? <laughs> you scared me half to death. I didn't realize there were like rats upon rats upon rats like everywhere. Okay, well my knife is sparkling. My materials, tools and stuff are clean. I have half a potion done and there's nothing I can do. So I guess skip day to year of the rat day number five. Maybe I'll have enough money now. I'm worried whatever's in there is gonna go away soon. Ah! I still don't have enough money! Okay. Great! Um... Potions, I guess. Healing, heat resistance. No sleep has been added. Yahoo. As well as cure disease. Fun. But like... Okay, great. I don't have any time to like, oh, cool. I didn't realize that like you could see their symbols here when you like hover over them. That's pretty cool. That makes it handy dandy so you don't have to go like back and forth to the book.
Right, right. Sorry, gotta click that. Race the feather there. Cool, feather. Yoink. Cutting board. Purity corruption, maybe? I don't think it'll let me double cut. Yeah, no. Okay, so how do I get fire out of it now? Apparently you can dry it. Maybe that was what I was supposed to do. I don't remember if I dried it or not. I think I put it in the mortar. Oh, fuck me. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Okay. I went from fire to heat instead of motion. Great. And now we have fire. Okay. Well. I don't know how to throw out what is in the cauldron, like, to empty it, but I guess E to cancel quest. I, like, don't have the money for anything, but okay. Dear sir, I represent our local firefighting team. We have heard that you can make a heat resistance potion. In our line of work, this can prove to be an invaluable thing. Please send us one of them so that we can test and see how well to perform firefighters. I love their little logo. You know, I'd love to help you, but I can't because I'm broke. Okay, it was nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out. I, what am I supposed to do? Sleep for a week just to have some money to like continue playing the game? That doesn't seem very fair. But I guess it's my fault that I don't understand the mechanics of it, I guess? I'm... I'm not really sure how to feel about this. <gasps> I didn't think I'd get jump scared by a tiny rat. Alright, great. Fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of frustrating. Are you dead? Oh my god, did you die? Oh no, you're just standing there. Okay. I thought he was just like keeled over. There he is. Hi, how much money do I have? Not enough. Like, maybe if I need coal. Wait. No, probably not. <laughs> the jump potion is still here. Great. Okay. Don't mind me. Just gonna sleep for a fucking week, I guess. I don't know what happens if I sleep too long or, like, if I don't do any work, but yeah. I'm sure some people have played this game and it's, like, easy peasy breezy for them and I'm over here like, well, I'm broke, can't do anything. Okay, cool. We have a few options. Not many, but a few. <sighs> Firefighters, I guess. Signature. Uh, maybe I should have tried again on the jump potion. Hold on. Maybe that's how it's like supposed to be forgiving. Yeah, okay. But it, it said I'd lost all my progress, but it still says that that's in the cauldron. So, in theory, I should be able to- There's gotta be some sort of, like, other thing I can do, right? Does it have to be Harpy Feather? It has to be Harpy Feather. Great! Uh... I have no idea. So, if I take out fire, 
then I get stuck with the swiftness and ignorance. If I leave fire, I get stuck with heat. If I leave ignorance, I get stuck with darkness. How am I supposed to get rid of both? I can't cut both out. Because even though I tried to strengthen the weaker one, it was like it strengthened, or I guess, what is it do again? It like, I don't remember. I thought it doesn't strengthen the weaker one. It cuts out the weaker one. So the weaker one is uh, the swift. I guess get rid of heat and cold again. Okay. Cool. Drying it didn't do anything for me though. I don't really necessarily know how I'm supposed to tell like which one is weaker or not. Maybe if I like read the little section on the harpy feather again. Nope. Not helpful. Fantastic. Okay. Apparently there's a juicer and some sort of rubbing thing, but I don't know how to get that either. Okay. Um... I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Okay, well I can't afford any upgrades, obviously. Um... Healing, cold, no sleep, cure disease... I mean, I guess... Worst case scenario, I could do a no sleep potion and pray that I have the money if I mess this up again. <sighs> yeah, can't do that. Pretty sure I dried it last time. I don't, I have no fucking clue. Got it, some potions easy, some potions hard. Yeah, I messed it up again. Like, I can get the motion, no problem, but I keep messing up the rest of it. And I'm broke again. Okay. Lovely. have enough money for cure disease I guess is the potion of the day heckin what was it carambola just kidding I don't have enough money for carambola okay fantastic yep cancel I still have the fish in the pot. Kinda stuck with it, I guess. Um. Whoa. Alright. Can I leave? Let me out! shop but okay bye <sighs> 
Well, I think my grandpa's gonna go broke. I think I'm gonna make his shop go under is all I'm saying. Like, he hired me to come in and help and I... I have been nothing but a menace. Slacking off, almost burnt the house down a few times, scratching my head over basic potions that I can't even seem to get right. I don't know how he managed to get me a license with his quote-unquote connections, but um, yeah, Grandpa is probably losing hella rep in the magic community thanks to me now. Like, if that man's thought he was getting like the best little helper, no, nah, he's getting the shittiest little helper. <laughs> this is why you should never trust a gremlin in the kitchen. Oh man. Oh. Alright, Carambola. I don't remember how much that one potion was, but it's gotta be enough to save me, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so we cut Order in Chaos. At least I remember that. Carambola is relatively easy because it gave me the tutorial on it. It didn't give me the t tutorial on any other fucking ingredients. Really? Alright, dry. And we should... Should... <laughs> get... Yep, diamond. Okay, diamond. And swift, right? Yep. Swift. Diamond. E. Put them together. Mix, 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 mix. Please, I need money bad. Yay! No sleep. <laughs> Ma'am. Uh, try to sell potion. Yes? Thank you. Oh my god, how much money did I get? Mmm, I didn't even make a profit. For real? Okay. Fantastic. Mm. Well, this was a bust. Is there... Restart day? Oh, I could restart my day? I didn't fucking know that. Oh. Great. like start an entire new game but dang <laughs> nice yeah nice isn't gonna save me here let me start day I, I guess what does that do for me that doesn't do anything for me does it Okay, great. So by resetting my day, it got rid of the fish that I had in the pot that wasn't supposed to be there this whole time. Which means I still don't have enough money to do the heckin... <sighs> okay. I wish it would tell me, like, what I needed in each of these, but alas, it doesn't. So, I can't afford to do jump. I don't know what strength potion needs. A potion that is often used by representatives of the manual labor force and so-called heroes in journeys. It can also cause drowsiness. You can actually use it to treat insomnia, just make sure your clients don't hurt themselves. Sure, what do we need for strength potion? Uh, hello? Um, I didn't get notes for this one. Why? How the frick am I supposed to know what gives me strength potion? I don't think I have that one written down here. 
Huh? Huh? Healing, heat resistance. Cold resistance, no sleep, cure disease. Okay. I... Okay. Cool. Jump or firefighter? I guess we're going for firefighter. You are just not giving me- is there like- oh my god, it's Q. Never mind. I'm just dumb. Okay, so this one is... Okay. So... I want to say the fastest way to do this one... Oh. I need two fish... Right. It's like two fish and either healing herb, ginger root, or like coal. Coal is the easiest by far. But obviously I can't afford to buy two fish. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Strength potion, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Come on, Professor Snail, give me that. Q opens your tab thing. Dude, I have not been able to get that symbol. I don't know. Right? That's the symbol I've been struggling with. Okay, try this again. Uh, no, it was this one that I was struggling with. But that one, I still need the fish. I don't have money for fish. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get apple because that's on something I haven't used yet. Where the heck, in heck is apple? Vines. Okay, how much are vines? Okay, fish, 190. Vines, 130. Okay. Listen, game. <laughs> Did you miss the spooky house game? Yeah, we finished it really fast. Honestly, and now I'm struggling through this game, and I'm wondering if I should just start over or if I should quit and pretend like I never tried to play this game in the first place. Yeah. We're doing great! <laughs> just absolutely peachy. Should probably cancel the quest. <sighs> okay. Sleep. Hey, day 13, day 14. I wonder how long I can sleep before she says something. Okay. 17. Don't mind me, I just keep going back to bed. How'd it go in my spooky mansion party? Um, it went. I don't really know if I have much else to say. It was quite an interesting experience, like finishing ex pronunciation difficulties, ex animum, ex animus, ex deus ex machina. No, um, it wasn't the ending I thought it would be. I thought. There was going to be some more scares, that is for sure. Oh my god, we actually have money, thank god. Okay. I'm probably gonna skip the jump one. Well, this one takes two fish and coal. I could probably do that. Praying I have enough money. Coal. Fish, fish. Just barely enough coin to sustain me on this one. It only took sleeping for two weeks to get my uh, freaking grandpa to uh, restock his money. Okay, so we want to get rid of the hot and cold element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Potions, heat resistance. Okay. Hey! 
Hi! Thank you for the cheer! Welcome, welcome! Uh, put it in the cauldron. Okay, fish. Get rid of hot and cold. Wait, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm so used to, like, just autopilot <laughs> fucking... Uh, I don't have the money for this shit. Fucking kill me. We need to get rid of order and chaos. The button underneath the cold one to keep the cold. But I don't know how to only get the snowflake one. It says it'll finish drying in a while, but I don't know if I've ever successfully dried the fish. Oh, I feel dumber than rocks. Oh, my soul hurts. My ears burn in embarrassment over my... <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Wow, we did it halfway. Fuck. I don't have enough money to continue, though. How many days do I have? Three? Okay. If we sleep for two, we might just make it. Maybe. Pray tell me I have enough money to finish this fucking quest. <coughs> Why won't you let me buy fish? I threw away the like other fish ingredient. Why why can't I have other fish? I don't understand. I don't have anything to sell you. What? Oh, because it's 240. I was looking at 190. Great. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> My grandpa is going to use me in the cauldron for the next batch of uh, ingredients. I can already feel it. In my little goblin toesies. Okay. Yeah, this is like the last day. Fish. Cool. Oh, right. Sorry, my bad. I still have to uh, put the ingredients away magically. Okay, sparkling knife, fish. Don't screw this up. Okay, motion, order chaos. Order chaos. Okay, fish bits up. Oh my god, I didn't realize that it was like the fish's eyeball in the center when you pick it up. Uh, dry your fish. Okay. Fuck yeah. Cold. Cold, cold this and stir it! Mix, 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 mix it up! What is it? Toil, boil, tubble, and tubble, double, trouble, something or other. Heat resistance works for me. La -da -da -da. Submit for quest. I wonder if they're gonna wait to, for a fire to start somewhere. Or light up one of their own just to test how our product works. Don't care. Not my business. We're gonna make jump potion. Strength. Invisibility. Yeah, sure. Let me just... What does that one do? Maybe I can do that? I feel like I've messed up with harpy feathers enough that I might be able to do that one. Otherwise, maybe bugs? Um, 350 for a bug? 
Fuck that. Let me just go and catch some outside. A harpy feather? Let's just start with one, because knowing my luck, I'm gonna absolutely butcher this. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Okay, so I want to say, if I remember right, we cut out fire and we end up... Yeah, get rid of hot and cold. Okay, now we have this. I want to say drying it. Okay, excuse me. Was it this one? But I still don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of the other one that's attached to it. So I don't know if this one is going to work. Maybe it was that I was supposed to use bug. Yeah, because now I have this, but there's like nothing else I can do and I can't just like put it down. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, I guess maybe I was supposed to do bugs. I don't know. I haven't messed with bug. Okay, well, I can't afford bug now. Oh my god. How much money do I have? 311? Is that even going to be enough? Yeah, eat a cancel your stupid quest. Jump potion. Okay, fine. Let me just sign off on that. I still don't know how to separate that, okay? Cancel. Strength, yeah. Let's try this one, I guess. That one I know how to do. Maybe. Lightly. Oh, hate this one. Okay, so... We can get this one through fish. Of course. And then... What was the apple? <laughs> oh, right. Vines. Okay. How much are vines? 160. My fish is 240. Fuck my life. Okay. Great. This is so frustrating. I'm the worst alchemist in alchemical history. They're going to write books about how they keep goblins out of their labs because of me. I'm gonna go down in history as a non-magical creature of the year. Okay, hot and cold. They're gonna remember me for my shenanigans of absolutely destroying my grandfather's workshop time and time again whether they want to remember me or not. They're gonna remember that every yellow potion I make tastes like Mountain Dew, but piss flavored, and that every blue potion tastes like sardines. <laughs> They're gonna remember me. Professor Snail is going to remember me because every time he takes a sip of that potion, it's gonna have some sort of toenail or fingernail in it because I hate him so much. Uh, bye. Give me the weird green octopus vine arm. This one should be relatively simple because I should just be able to... Yeah, cut out life and death. And keep gravity, which is the apple one for some reason. Womp. Stir it up! Okay. Oh, it's red. Huh. Here's your Kool-Aid potion. Uh, submit for quest. One of your grandpa's clients has got this potion. One of your grandpa's clients has got this potion to sleep better at night. As a result, he has trashed half of his bedroom while sleepwalking. 
Wow, that bloody sucks. Jump potion, invisibility, light, yeah. Surely it can't be worse than the other ones. <sighs> I feel like I've accidentally gotten the light ones multiple times by now. How did I do that, I wonder? Oh gosh. Not the carambola. I don't have mo well, I might have money for carambola. I don't know if I have money for two carambola. Yeah, no, of course not. Okay. Uh, I gotta deliver it. Where? Delivery. Okay, it did work. Okay, so if I cut out order chaos, like it's sort of a sword. Yep, 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 yep. Drying it, I think, should give us the sun. Now we wait, because if I go to bed now, it disappears forever, gone to the void. Fuck you, never again. Okay, just kidding. Drying that gives us that, so put it in the mortar, and I think that's how we get the sun. Here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. Please work. Oh my god, I do remember something. Hallelujah. Alright. Sleep for a week. Or like two days. Oh wait, days left one. Oh, okay. Uh, do I have money? I do, in fact, have money. Woo! Ingredients are being delivered. I hope this doesn't keep up where, like, I'm constantly in a state of broke and having to skip days just because I can't afford anything. Okay. Order in chaos gets rid of sword. No, I'm not gonna risk it. Hello? Hi, Hermit. How are you? <laughs> Hello? Hi, Hermit. Hello? Hi, Hermit. How are you? He said, what are you doing? It is bedtime. How dare you disrespect me by not being in bed? Ah! He rubbed up against my foot. It spooked me. Light, light, mix. Yay! I bet the potion is going to be like gold or white or yellow or something. Right? That was a really fast mix. Whoa. It's like yellow and green. Uh, potion for whatever. I wonder how Professor Snails. Uh, I wonder how would Professor Snails look if he drank a light potion? He'd probably have disco like lights coming out of his shell. I don't know. Agility, sure, can't be worse than the other two. Agility is one of the more useful potions for younger alchemists. As I always tell my students, my time is precious, so move your sorry behinds faster around the lab. The recipe is nothing special, so even a person with your qualification can pull it off. Thanks, asshole. What are you doing? Oh god, I can't afford this potion. You want what, dude? You want double fish and carambola. Hermit. Great. Buying one Karen bullet left me broke. Fantastic. Okay, but I know how to get the diamond, so let's put it here. Get rid of order chaos. I'm gonna have to sharpen my knife after. Yes, Hermit, I know. Hello, handsome. I'm so glad we don't have cats in the alchemy lab because, uh, 
We wouldn't be getting absolutely anything done thanks to their shenanigans. That's all I'm saying. I'm ruining and messing it up enough ingredients as is. Having Hermit in my lab? Whoo! I would be destitute. Poor. Poor, poor, poor. Excuse me. My knife was not ready, in fact. Hermit! Now my knife is done. Hermit thinks he can stand on the printer. <laughs> no, no, no. No, he can't. Not allowed. I suddenly have money for fish. A single fish, but fish nonetheless. Oh, there's the fish. It's like, where'd that fish go? Okay, cutting out heat and cold will do the job. Yep. Yoink. Throw it in the pot. Plop. And time to sleep. Big snooze. Me, 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 me. Alright, one more just to be safe, I guess. <laughs> Day 32. Great. Lovely. Uh, please tell me I have enough money. Mm -hmm. I do not. Okay. No more days left, so... Please tell me I still don't have enough money. Yes? Yeah, okay. Cool. What fucking potion was I working on again? I don't remember. Agility. Got it. Now I just sleep until I have the coin. A big rest. Making and mixing potions takes a whole lot of work, you know? These little muscular go goblin arms the uh, stirring pots all day is exhausting. Don't you know? Agility potion. Yoink. Put it here. Hot, cold, no more. Kind of gross that we're just like putting raw fish bits in with fruit and like stirring it up as like a soup to be eaten as a potion. Blech. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Oh great, agility potion. Here you go. He could use a little agility himself, if you ask me. Last I heard, it took him 40 minutes to get from one part of the academy to the other. He's a snail, what do you expect? Hey. Oh. Dude. I guess jump potion. So I know I'm going to need fish. But... There's gotta be something else. There's not. Guess I'm starting with Harpy Feather. Cause that's the ingredient I'm struggling the most with. I wonder if I can just... What happens if I dry it first? Wow, that's a big ass feather. When you do it like that. Oh, it's turning white. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now what happens if I just put you in the mortar? It's 
Great. Not that then. Okay. So. What? I don't think it would work if I just mortar it either. Seems like the ignorance one goes away, or not ignorance, the frickin' wind one goes away the fastest. Okay, I guess what happens if we just mortar it? I don't know. I'm sorry that your cat has the rowdies and is going full attack cat, that is unfortunate. Okay. I can't say I was expecting those effects. Um. Yeah. That ain't it, Chief. Okay. I... I'm really baffled. Okay. Cut out. Hot and cold. Maybe I need, like, a guide to just tell me how I'm supposed to get the a harpy thing working I don't know are there even any guides for this game mm. there are I feel bad that, like, I feel like I have to freaking look at a guide for it. But I'm just not getting it. Okay. I'm doing what potion again? Jump? There's no fucking way. Have I really been doing it wrong this whole time? The answer is yes, and I would have never fucking thought of this. Okay, still harpy feather. Buy another fish. I feel so stupid. <sighs> Grab fish. Okay. Fish. This. Cut cold. Grab fish. Never gonna believe this. Dry it. That looks so gross. But, look, there we go. I never had to touch harpy feathers at all and I wasted all my time for nothing. Haha. -ha. But alas, hey, look, there, now we have the potion. I feel dumb as rocks, but I mean, okay. I don't think I would have gotten that one on my own. <laughs> And what sucks is I feel like I've accidentally made that fish combo before. No. 
easy to negate the dangers of using the jump potion. Just give a client a slow fall potion. Is that what's next? No, it's invisibility. But it is also nighttime, and thus. So, I was right about the invisibility one needing bugs. Gross. So, this one is apparently... supposed to just dry a bug maybe ah okay yeah there we go dry bug wow nailed it time to go to bed I guess womp And again. Okay, now we pray that I have enough money to do the rest of this. I do. Yay. Okay, bug acquired. Put bug away. Hey, look at that. Look at him go! Woo! Okay. Now we do that again, but twice. Ay, yay, 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 Oh, I didn't realize that you can hear like the ticking of a clock. That's very odd. Well, I got the other ones just fine. I suppose as fine as a goblin could have done so. Yes, I'm drying this bug twice so we can have the ultimate crispy snack. Yep. I don't know why, but like walking past the rugs really fast, I thought they were like the rugs from The Shining. Or the rug from The Shining or whatever. I don't know why. I just did. My bad. I can close that tab now. Mmm, bug soup. Oh, okay. I knew that he also trades on the black market. Okay, thank you. Oh no. Jumping actor, strong words and great potion. Fucking Thank you very much for the heat resistance potion. It has worked very well. We would like to order one more to have just in case. Yeah, buddy, that one's not very hard. Okay, so I need coal. Uh. Probably fish, I'm assuming. I think that's how I did it last time, is with fish. Apparently, according to the guide, the easiest way to do the heat resistance is to use coal and a cocoon. So I'm going to try it that way. I 
it says take coal, coal on board. Ooh. Cut the heat from the coal. And then take this and to dry it twice. Certainly scratching my head over here, that's for sure. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, that was so much simpler. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Why did I waste so much time and make myself look so silly? Oh. Why? Oh, that was so much more affordable. Well, maybe not. Okay, cocoon. Dry. Tick tock, tick tock, you can't dry any faster. This game is, I wouldn't say it's fun, yet. It's definitely interesting. I'm sure it becomes fun, like once you get the hang of it and you're able to like zippity zippity zappity zoom through it. But I am a person with little patience and thus, while it is like entertaining, it's like so frustrating to find out that, you know, there's a faster way to be making these potions that is more affordable or like, man, I can't believe I couldn't figure out that other potion that I can't even name. Looks like these folks are gonna be our returning customers. Keep it up. Great. Maybe I'm not going to be a disappointment to my granddad. There's still hope for me yet. Greetings, I have an extremely unusual request for you this fine evening. I'm an actor and I'm faced with a very challenging part. I need to play a kangaroo. So you want to jump in potion. Charles Charlin. I feel like that sounds vaguely familiar. You're an actor. I feel like that name is a reference to something. Playing a kangaroo, which is not anything special in itself, but I need to be jumping really high during most of the performance. Unfortunately, my ability to do, do so is hindered by my respectable weight. Uh, please send me a jump potion, as this part is really important to me. Before this, I was playing mostly trees and rocks. Yeah, it does sound like, and the resemblance is of uh, Charlie Chaplin. Thank you. Uh. Okay, so we need double fish. So we cut cold from one fish. Um. Cut. Oh no. It's getting to be like late. I should go to sleep before my character passes out. That way, like, whatever is on the board or doing whatever doesn't end up getting absolutely wrecked and lost like the last time. Okay, so we have half the potion done. I don't know why, but the little sound in there, <laughs> the little sudden music sound there spooked me. Okay, once again, we cut the cold off the fish. Didn't know that was possible, but all right. No more cold fish, yeehaw. And then... 
Yeah, we dry the fish. Now we wait for the eyeball to become a lot grosser looking. Y yay! Dried fish pieces. Here's your fishy potion. <gasps> no! No! Oh my god! I went to press W to walk forward and I fucking pressed E to stir the potion. I'm glad I had just enough money for one more fucking fish, but I really wish I could stop being stupid for five minutes <laughs> with my silly little phalanges, my little fingers, my little, my little annoying dogs that I have on me for like five seconds. So that way I can accomplish not blowing up my grandpa's workspace. That'd be great. I know, Genki, I know. My cats are getting salty because they're sleepy, I think. Meow wow. What? What, Schmelly? Ouch. Okay, I won't pet you. All right, the knife is good. Yes, no more hot cold. Yeah, we'll just say that I wanted to uh, eat the original fishy concoction. The the curiosity got the best of me and I just had to gluck, gluck, gluck that shit up. <laughs> Let me tell ya, it was not great. Not in the slightest. What kind of a theater uses real actors to play trees and rocks anyways? For real. Okay, guess we'll find out if we ever use the tickets he sent us as gratitude. <laughs> Lovely. Magic hands? The frick is that supposed to be? I work as a magician. To tell you the truth, I'm not very good. You see, the thing is that our profession requires very steady and fast hand, but with years passing, I've become quite slower than I used to be in youth, and some tricks are no longer in my command. That is why I'm writing to you. Please send me one of those agility potions. I've heard wonderful things about them from my friends and hopefully they will be able to help me. Henry Hulling. Okay. I don't think I have the money to help you, bro. Well, I might. Uh, what are my other options? Strong words. Oh, hello, my boy. You are doing well. I'm a boy! <gasps> I'm a boy goblin! I didn't know that. Wow! Thanks, Grandpa! <laughs> I, I don't know if my grandma's- my, not my grandma, my grandpa has ever met me. <laughs> this might have solidified that. I've just arrived at Cario. And may need a little help on your side. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I've lost my traveling alchemical lab. Uh, and to make things worse, this is the time of my grand adventure when I may need a magical potion at any moment. Unsurprisingly, this moment has arrived almost immediately. I need your help. Nothing fancy, just a strength potion. Folks here are building one of their pyramids, and I was foolish enough to boast that a single person with proper alchemical help can work better than a dozen builders. This has put me into a very uncomfortable situation with the local chief of guards, so now I have to literally put my head on the line. Please hurry and thank you for your help. <laughs> uh, do I want to help you? I can help you. Okay, so we need polar fish and vines. Okay. So You 
wanted a strength potion. So it's cutting the cold out of a polar fish. And I think it's cutting the life. Yeah, the life out of vines. Cool. Toss it. Okay. And life out of vines. Noise. Gravity and movement, or whatever it is. Mix it up. Give me, give me, give me that potion. Noise. Okay. Uh, submit. I wonder, Grandpa, that his long tongue would lead him into trouble, but would he ever listen? No, he is too smart and too energetic for his own good. If you ask me, all these adventures are just a stupid waste of time. Real smart folk like me spend their time in the house and not outside. You tell him, Granny Rat. There may still be hope for you, though. Just don't get any funny ideas like running from here. This laboratory is too important for me and your grandfather, and you need to be on call all the time. Believe me, I know. I haven't slept in weeks. Actually, I've slept way too much, but you, you get my point. A Leviathan potion? Lovely. Let's do the agility one because I've done that one before. So we need two fish and for me to not be yawning over here. Yeah, and a healing herb, I guess. Yep. Okay, you cut the life out of you. Slice and dice ya to pieces. Okay. Yoink. Toss. Now we have diamond. Fish, 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 fish. Where the fuck are the fish? Oh, right next to me. Dum, 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 dum. No, I'm just kidding. They just didn't start flopping around so I could see them because they're dead and stuff, you know? Obviously, they wouldn't do that, but I also just didn't see where they were placed. I was more so focused on the plant. Okay, hot and cold. Then I'll probably need to sharpen my knife. Okay, mix. Stirring, stirring, stirring that pot. Woo! That's a big spoon. Nice. Oh. Okay, submit. Hope I will never get too old to work with you. The stuff our clients write to us is something else. <laughs> got my mind on my money. I got 10,000 gold. That's how much I've made total, apparently. This one has also left us a suit. This one has also left a souvenir, a deck of magic cards. Bruh. I don't want your Magic the Gathering cards. Why would I want that? I like the skull. You're like, appreciate the magic cards, I guess, bro, but I don't, I don't need them. I don't want them. What am I gonna do with them? I'm stuck in a lab all day. I got nobody to play against. Nobody to play with. Unbearable heat, returning clients. Returning clients, huh? Oh, firefighters. More heat resistance potion. Yeah, dope. Um... Da, 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 da. Coal. 
Oh, polar fish is on sale right now. For 120. Still gonna do the cocoon route though. Okay. Yoink, cut the fire out of the coal, throw it in the pot. Music isn't too loud. Uh, okay, try it again. Look at that! We did it. Yippee! Also, I just realized I have more than one drying slot. I could have been drying them all like at the same time, but I didn't really think about that. So. I didn't just mess that up, did I? No, okay, I got it. Oh! Magic cards! Not Magic the Gathering, but like, magic playing cards. A gift from a traveling musician? No, ma magician? No, magician, not musician either. Uh, no wonder he was not very successful. Yeah, they're all ace of hearts. Does that mean if I walk around I can see, like, the other gifts I've gotten? I don't know why there's just, like, bowls of rice or, like, gruel or soup or whatever, but okay. Okay, put that back in the dryer. Hello, tiny rat. Those are my potions to bottle up my liquids with. Okay. I thought we would be able to see like the tickets that we had gotten somewhere too. But I suppose not. All right. Womp. Mix. Yahoo. Okay, can't look at the other quests while this is going apparently. Makes sense, I suppose. All right, heat resistance, here you go. Oh, I've got Amber Journeyman. That is weird, there have been no fires in our town for God knows how long. What could they do to, with a, what could they do with a previous batch of potions? I don't know. Have they just been like putting them all over like the buildings and stuff? Okay, so this is heat resistance. Uh, unbearable heat, dear grandson, I've successfully reached Mumbai. It is a beautiful place with very friendly people. A lot of very friendly people. The food here is very spicy, but I really enjoy it. I think that I, I think that it can become very popular here. I might even open a restaurant when I get home with their native cuisine. I will call it Bavarsi. I probably butchered that. Sorry. I already have very exciting ideas of using taste-enhancing alchemical recipes on our menu. Anyways, I am having a great time here. Hope to work back home hope work back home moves along nicely for you too p.s oh please send me heat resistance potion the sun will soon turn me brown in here really really grandpa you could have just said like I i'm gonna burn out here like sun's gonna flay the skin off my body like <laughs> all right Hmm, I feel like we've almost made this one before. Okay. Hi, Hermit. Guess I'll start with these. Try and do my uh, alchemy more efficiently from now on you see because I am becoming skilled at learning what must be done oh oh 
Oh, okay. I thought it like ruined my piece of coal. I was about to be like, oh shit, that sucks. Ginky. Enough, handsome child. Okay, it's not super dark outside, but it's definitely getting there. Ouch. Ugh! My spine! go a little longer. Okay, I can't pick them up two at a time. I have to pick them up one at a time. But that's okay. So long as it gets in the pot, we're good. Heck yeah. Stir it up. There's hope for us yet. Grandpa takes it easy with the local cuisine and don't get me started on his business ideas. Once I've made him a sandwich with meat, he loved it so much that he almost opened a restaurant that would serve those with tiny fried potatoes. He wanted to call it McAlchemist's. Luckily, I managed to talk him out of it. Like a McAllister's? Oh my god, the references are heavy. Meanwhile, I was like, oh, he went to Egypt? To see like the pyramids and stuff? I, I thought for sure there was gonna be like a JoJo reference. No. Okay, cool. Wow! Okay. We made it to day 41. I could end it on day 42 as is the answer to the universe and everything, but alas, I won't because I'm not that annoyingly funny. Meanwhile, I am probably going to call it here for tonight. As interesting as this game was, it is definitely a doozy. It's very, very, very slow paced. I understand it's not for everyone, but it was a nice break. Um, and like a trial and error kind of stream. I don't know if I will be posting the VOD of this to the YouTube channel, but now I know that this game is probably just best played in my own time. But hey, we played a little bit of it, so if this kind of game interests you, you can pick it up on Steam. If it doesn't interest you, no problem, I totally understand. Uh, hopefully you got a few giggles while you were here and that was enough, and if not, well, Check out some of my other stuff. Maybe I'm funnier there. I don't know. But yeah, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I've got cats that want me in bed. And uh, that's it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Kiki Gothiki, and I was your goblin host for this evening. If you enjoyed the stream, you can check out my other, you know, YouTube content, like I just said. And uh, we've, we're, we're pretty chill here. We've got coffee, cats, tea, apparently all the failed potions you can think of, and a whole lot of good vibes. So whether it's morning, evening, or night, I hope to see you next time I, I hope you know wish you a good one see you next time yeah that's what i was trying to say sorry i'm not good with scripting <laughs> me always forgetting my tiny scripts hee <sighs> hee yeah